is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i'm going to be showing you the best wwe figure customs in my entire collection no these are not my favorites though i love every single one of them but they are the absolute best. These are what I consider the best customs in my entire collection as far as paint application, whether it be sculpting, whether it just be just freaking cleanliness and just freaking badassery. These are the elite in my opinion. I, it was very hard to narrow it down, but I believe these are all of the absolute best that I could think of. Of course, there are some still just absolute amazing customs in my collection. I tried to narrow it down the best that I could. Also, this video was supposed to be up at 5 a.m. this morning. However, I overslept and my alarm didn't go off. So you freaking hate to see it, but here I am and the video is up now. So I guess it's all good, but I'm going to take you through all these freaking customs, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up, guys, we have this fantasy attire Seth freaking Rollins. I freaking love this to absolute death. This is a fantasy attire that I came, with, uh, came up with on my own. And this was made by my boy Chase from Burnout Inc. If you take a look at this, guys, look how clean that paint apps is. Like, I mean, how can you get any better than this right here? Look at that SR logo. Look at the white stripes and the white and the blue paint going all the way around his vest. I mean, it's kind of unreal. Like, the back is absolutely perfect. Chase says that's his favorite part is on the back. I don't know what he's talking about, Brad, because that freaking front right there, how clean that looks is awesome. Though the back is just as clean and amazing. Um, I think I like the front a little bit more. And then we go down into the blue belt, and then you have the black and blue wrist tape, or the wrist gauntlets there, and then we have the white color. And then again, he nailed the white paint on the side, the SR logo on the side, with the stripes. Again, do not know how this man does it, but he is an absolute madman coming in here with the freaking paint apps and killing it. We got the blue knee pads. Um, this is pretty much a play on his, you know, gray and black attire, but um, I think this is a lot cooler are a lot better looking and then you have the black and gray down on the kick pads and then he finished it off with my favorite part which will probably be a theme in this video because I think this occurs multiple times but the white out soles absolutely tie everything together when superstars do that freaking just beautiful stuff but that's the first custom we have guys is the fantasy attire Seth freaking Rollins that I got on my damn hauls number 50 so shout out to Chase from Burnout Inc for this amazing custom Seth Rollins so next up guys we have four different Finn Balor's or Prince Devitt's I should say there's three Prince Devitt's and a Finn Balor the first Finn Balor that we have or the only Finn Balor actually is this NXT TakeOver The End Finn Balor from one of his last matches. It was the first ever Steel Cage match in NXT history where he fought Samoa Joe trying to reclaim his uh, NXT Championship, which uh, I think he should have won and then relinquished. That way he kept the Demon undefeated. The only loss that the Demon has ever suffered is to Samoa Joe at that TakeOver, I'm pretty sure. But you can see all four of these were made by Joey from Showstopper Custom Figs, guys. And I have to put these in here. I tried to narrow it down to my favorite Balor slash Prince Devitts because, you know, I have so many up on that shelf. But these are beautiful, and I thank God that we never got this from Mattel because I don't think I've ever seen anybody else uh, with this custom on this body mold. I'm sure it exists. I just have never seen it. I always see the Daniel Bryan body mold, which I absolutely hate. Um, you will never see a custom Finn Balor in my collection that isn't the uh, accurate uh, Finn Balor body mold there. But you can see he totally nailed every single thing about the figure. Look at this right here. All of the teeth designs going around, all the gray, all the black. One of Finn Balor's absolute best attires, I say. And you have the teeth going around on the sleeve. And I just, I don't know how this man gets white. Like him and Chase get the white applied so clean. You got the gray design on the trunks there. And just such a beautiful looking Finn Balor figure. You also have the teeth on the knee pad. And it looks like it's decals. And look what he did. He added the white outsoles, which I said again, it was going to be a theme in this video. And it's just so nice. I love that to death. So that is the Finn Balor. We also have the uh, Venom Prince Devitt, which is when he was in the Indies. You can see the Venom face in there. You got the symbiote going all around. You got the black chest, the sleeved hand or arm, and then you have everything. Armani Exchange logo, just such clean paint, paint apps. Easily my favorite Balors in my collection, and Prince Devitt's. Um, another white outsole figure with even some white details thrown in. And just look at that. Doesn't it make the figure pop? Like, it just totally makes the figure pop when you have those white outsoles. So we have the Venom Prince Devitt. We also have just, oh, just look at it, Brad. My God almighty. Look at this Prince Devitt. The anti-Venom Prince Devitt. Another independent attire here. 
and just such a clean, like just so clean. It's epic sauce. If you put this man, if I like put a solid white background up and I put this man in it, you would, it, it would probably look like a floating demon face or something. It absolutely looks beautiful. He nailed this to death. So Joey totally nailed the Prince Devitt here. Got the white knee pads, got the white kick pads, and this time it's reversed. We got the blackout soles, and just everything about this. I think that um, this is easily one of my favorite tires. You guys know how white is my favorite color, so this Prince Devitt is absolutely badassery. And then the final Prince Devitt that we have in the collection is the Wrestle Kingdom 8 attire, I believe. And it is uh, that Carnage inspired attire, which he said it was not supposed to be Carnage inspired, but then at the end it kind of ended up looking like Carnage. But uh, you guys see the red and black. You got the beautiful teeth on the face, which is so detailed with that white. And it's so clean again, and he nailed it. Got the purple in there, got the leg design, purple and black knee pads, and then the solid black kick pads to tie it all together. Uh, shout out to Joey from Showstopper Custom Figs, one of the absolute best customizers in the game, and he nailed every single one of those Prince Devitt slash Finn Balors. Staying on a New Japan subject, we have the best Tamatanga WWE action figure custom that I've ever seen. This was made by BEW, my boy Brian from BEW Animations. Look at this head scan right here. This is the best Tamatanga head scan I've seen. I believe this is a Jimmy or Jay Uso figure. He sculpted the beard on there, and then he applied the paint up so cleanly. I think this is the best head scan for a Tamatanga. A lot of people use Dolph Ziggler, which isn't bad. However, I think that this is just beautiful. For the painted head scan, I just love this. And he added extra hair. Um, I believe this is a Braun Strowman or Roman Reigns hair piece. I can't remember which one, but this is the absolute best Tamatanga I've ever seen. I may actually switch the legs or pop this head scan onto, you know, like a sting lower and then give him the Roman Reigns body or maybe keep this torso and then pop the, uh, you know, the, the sting lower on there to give it a more accurate look. This is his older attire. Got the Tamatanga logo, got his tattoo on there, the BEW nailed as well. And that's pretty much it. Pretty plain black boots. And what a beautiful Tamatanga, the best Tamatanga I've absolutely ever seen. Next up, we have a figure from Showstopper Custom Figs. And this one's really not about sculpt work, but how clean the paint apps are. So he nailed every single one of these zebra stripes on the Money in the Bank 2017 Dolph Ziggler attire. You see it says Hollywood Heel. You got the chrome or silver with black stripes going all the way down. And just such a clean figure. I love the uh, paint apps on this. I absolutely had to include this figure on my list as the best just because of those paint apps. So I had to at least throw one Ziggler in here and I figured that it could be the one with the absolute clean stripes on there. Next up we have Mad Reaper Studios and we have Alistair Black. Huge shout out to Mad Reaper, my boy. Um, we got all kinds of customizers in here, but this is uh, one of the best Alistair Blacks I've ever seen. I would, I think that his second and third version, I think he made a second and third version. I know he made a second version, and that version was better than this one, but him and BEW have made the best Alistairs I've ever seen. The head scans are absolutely incredible. This one's, this one's not bad at all. However, I think that uh, his second version and maybe his third version was even better, but just look at the beautiful paintwork on the back. That is all completely hand-painted. You have the hand-painted trunks designs. I I believe the arms are decals and the stomach's decals, however, it's not a big deal to me. It still looks so clean. He's actually missing three tattoos now, but again, not a big deal to me. Beautiful looking Alistair Black. I love this so much. Got the gold on the knee pad, gold going down, that thorn design on his uh, kick pads, and just, just freaking incredible work. Next up, we have another BEW Animations Custom, and it is the Randy Orton WrestleMania 33 Elite Custom, and this figure blew out the Mattel release. Like, he actually added all the details. I made this before we were getting that figure, and BEW totally brought it to life. He used the Elite 35 head scan. He actually repainted it and uh, sculpted like a more smirkier look and like more of like, uh, like a, a pissed off face, or it's more of like a... So I call it like the cocky look or something like that. Just look at me, just looks cocky. But we're going down into the trunks. He nailed all of this right here. You see the snakeskin pattern. We got all those patches that Randy Orton had. And he just delivered on this so much. One of my favorite Randy Orton's just because of how accurate it is. And he did capture the WWE Championship. And Randy Orton's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, guys. So you guys know um, that I love this figure. So you got all the back designs. You got the knee pads looking accurate with the snakeskin on there. And I just don't think you'll see a better Randy Orton custom from that from that specific attire. So I have my boy Randy Orton represented in this video. The next figure we have 
is a WrestleMania 21 Money in the Bank Edge right here, guys. And you can see we use the Elite 13 head scan, and then uh, we got the uh, basic arms, or he may have painted these on. I can't remember if we used the ones from the basic. Got the elbow pads on there, and then all of this paintwork by Showstopper is ridiculous. This was made by Showstopper Custom Figs again. He's got his Money in the Bank briefcase, and then he has his beautiful designs. I don't know why we've never gotten an Edge Elite from this era, you know, the mid-2000s, but just look at that right there. The paintwork on this guy is phenomenal. Look at that Edge face with the pink outlines, and then you have the cross behind there, and that's not even the best part, guys. When you flip it around, he did the exact same design with a all of it hand-painted and it is symmetrical as you can see I don't know how this man did it but he did and that is why it's the absolute best it's so clean of paintwork and then of course you have the custom kick pads that he actually did sculpt on the flaps because that's kind of boots the edge wore back in the day and he made the uh, back part glossy and the front part matte very detailed figure and that pretty much does it for this Edge. One of my favorite moments ever. The first ever Money in the Bank and Edge brought it home. Even though as a child it made me cry when uh, Edge won because, you know, he was a heel. And the reason he won is because he took a chair to my favorite wrestler of that era. And that is Chris Benoit. Before Chris Benoit, you know, did what he did and everything like that. Uh, he was my favorite wrestler of all time, and um, I absolutely cried when Edge won that matchup. But here we have a mid-2000s Chris Benoit, and this was made by Baracho, Barancho, or Bacho, Barancho Customs on Instagram. Can't remember his name, but this is a mid-2000s for real custom Chris Benoit. One of my favorite attires in the yellow, black, and red. You can see the logo on there. Um, I love this custom. I think it's the perfect formula for a Chris Benoit. If you're going to make a Chris Benoit, guys, use this uh, Deluxe Aggression Jacks head scan. Use the Stone Cold Torso, John Cena arms, and um, I would probably use better shoulders because these are really loose. Not his fault. It's just the way the figures were made. These arms don't fit in there really good. I need to do something about it because I do not like how loose that is. But you also have the yellow on there. and It's just a great figure. I think it's really, really clean and represents that Chris Benoit very well. Coming down into the last two figures, guys, we have two more from Showstopper Custom Figs. We have one of the best Kurt Angles I've ever seen, and that was before we got it from Mattel. But um, we got the Stars and Stripes. This is from 2001. We have the gold in there. I used to think this was just a masterpiece. Like, it's still amazing, and that's why it's on here. However, it's just I don't even want to touch this figure. That's how beautiful it looks. But you have the Kurt Angle with every single thing paint, painted on here. The stripes are decals, but it's still it's applied so clean. I don't know how he does it. Uh, Showstopper is looking like a magician over there, but you also have the best boots in the game, my favorite boot designs. I'm waiting on Mattel to give us these, but they haven't just yet. And then, uh, yeah, so we have Kurt Angle, and then the last figure we have, guys, is Chris Jericho, and you guys can see right here the 2005 era Jericho. Again, paint apps, Joey is just such a beast. Look at this right here with the Jericho silhouette in the pink, and then you have the stripes going by, and he even added, like, the powder blue um, like glowiness or whatever the sheen to the tights with the silver like sort of gloss over there as you guys can kind of see through there and then he of course did it just like the edge he nailed the uh, he nailed the symmetry as you can see both logos both Jerichos are just so accurate so nice uh, got the classic Jericho kick pads open knee pads accuracy and then we have his uh, his armbands and then he nailed the 2005 era Jericho with the hair and the beard sculpt on there. So that pretty much does it for all of the customs here in today's video. But that pretty much does it for the absolute best of the best customs in my WWE action figure collection, guys. If there's a custom that you've seen on my channel that was not on here and you guys think that it should have been included in the best, let me know down in the comments section below because I could not think of it. I mean, I think that my Mad Reaper Dolph Ziggler in promo attire should have probably been in this video. But um, again, I tried to narrow it down to the absolute best of the best and it was really hard to, de to deny, you know, Joey's Money in the Bank Ziggler that's so clean. But that pretty... Oh, okay, Charlie. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, I'm sorry for the later upload, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. However, I would have liked to have this up a lot sooner. But I did go to bed at, like, you know, 2-something, and then I was trying to wake up at 3.45 to film, and then just fell behind and just everything. And I'm way behind schedule now on everything I was going to do today. But uh, I think it'll be all right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.